What up? Back doing a little beaver trapping. I'm not sure it's gonna be a long video or a short video, but another place we trapped last spring. Um, farmer lets me deer hunt in his property. I came here, I take, I can't remember how many beaver I took out of here, I took some big ones out of here, but there's still a few left. Um, see they chewed there, that one's old. They chewed on that one last year. They've been chewing a little bit here. Like I don't think there's tons of beaver. The, the lodge is over there. It's a pretty big lodge, but the last couple of years it's been totally mudded up. Now this, now this last fall, it was all grass with a little bit of mud on there. So hoping just a big beaver or two left in here. But we had a caster mound here last spring and we're gonna attempt to put another one in right now, actually right here. And this one, so I don't, I mean, there's fresh sticks there and stuff. I don't know if the beaver, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I, so I got in the water right there and it feels like there's a bank down under here, but I shoved my foot under there about a foot and it stopped. So there actually isn't one. So I'm gonna end up just throwing some grass or mud up on, on here, putting in a no BS beaver extreme. And uh, yeah, super, something super simple. Hopefully the beaver will react to it and we can get ourselves a nice beaver or two out of here. Oh. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna dig this down here a little ways. There we go. That's interesting. I'm gonna dig this down here a little ways and uh, I'm actually gonna save some of this grass because I'm doing, I'm doing a I'm doing a 330 caster mound down the shoreline here a little ways. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that a lot of these beaver are kind of trap smart because I did have a caster mound down there last year and the caster mound just didn't produce, you know, like they should have in a normal caster mound situation. So I'm just gonna put some dirt up here or some mud up here, sorry. And uh, like that just, push it up there nothing real specific and then right here I'm just gonna bed a trap and hopefully we got a beaver tomorrow gets pretty deep here pretty fast so I'm gonna go Let's see here. I'm gonna go right there. Into the mud. I always check and make sure there's enough length so my trap gets to where I want it to, which is about perfect. Still dealing with this bad elbow. Come on. Oh, my leg. Elbow's hurting. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna put that trap way up in the air because I don't need to uh, slap it on myself somewhere like I almost did at another stop not too long ago. Not sure if you guys have seen that yet, but it wasn't good. Okay, ground's frozen here, you guys. But I'm just gonna pound this right into that frozen clay. Cause it doesn't get down too far before it gets soft. Woo. That clay is frozen hard. I think we broke through now because it's actually moving now. Yeah, now we're into the soft stuff. Okay. Got my no BS Beaver Extreme. Wanna get this drowning slide all the way up here. I'm gonna get this locked in on the uh, death or on the night latch. Keep coming. 
There we go. Trap is night latched. I put it in the water right there, like so. Gonna put a little grass there. Pull, pull a little grass up here. Beaver should come right in, get caught, and be indisposed right there. Um, some nice sticks out here I'm finding. <clears throat> Trying to find some sticks to uh, put some caster on. So, as you can see here, I didn't, I didn't do like a giant pile of mud. I think this is kind of a core area for them to come and make caster mounds. And I really don't know if they're even working here right now, but we're just gonna do that and see how that turns out for us. All right, so back at another spot here. We actually had a caster mound here last year. And we're gonna put this one back and just see what happens. Really hoping to uh, get a beaver or two out of here. Like I said, I, this this one, this particular caster mound didn't, didn't produce last year. Like I don't think, I don't think I caught any in 330s here last year. That's in there nice and solid. So with, with this one, <laughs> the ground is frozen, okay? So I cannot drive another stick in here. I'm actually just gonna put the stick up, or put the trap on here, put the other side over here and just kind of jam a stick in here to hold it so it doesn't swing around. Got a Belial here that's, I don't know how old it is, you know, around 20 years old, I'd say, 18 years old. But the springs on this Belial are still as strong as any trap that I'm using. I hate to say it, I, I don't want to, I'm not downing on Victors at all. They're a great trap, but I would say that the springs on this old Belial are stronger than the Victor springs. how this goes over okay so that's I mean it's pretty good I can just get some uh, sticks over here doing something maybe Actually, I might even be able to use this. That dude, look at that. The bark right here. I pinched I pinched the safety between the bark and the trap. That's literally what I'm doing to. Gosh, I don't even I mean. This is basically all I'm doing to secure this trap. I mean, it's, I mean, not to secure it, but keep it from tipping over. This trap is sprung or something tomorrow. We're gonna pull it and just rely on that foothold over there to do something. It's one of my, I call my Hail Mary sets, cause, oh, hey, look at that. Good. There's some some mud down here. Okay. 
you guys seen where I put that anchored that trap right I'll probably get here tomorrow trap will be gone I'm gonna wonder where it's at all that business be upset be crying okay that trap is set now I just gotta blend it in a bit here hide that I might even you know what I'm getting MacGyverish over here. What if I like shove this in the bottom and push this over here to just to help it? See that? Get that there? Huh? MacGyver a beaver trapping you guys. There we go. Bring this around here a little bit. Put that over the top of the trap. There we go. All right, well, that is kind of a Hail Mary. I'm just, you know, I'm so limited to what we're doing right now because normally this is all thought out, you guys. Like, but right now, literally from here up is just frozen solid. You guys saw me pound that steak and I'm limited to what I can do with trapping because the spring is so late and I'm gonna have to start work and I'm not gonna be able to get out the amount of videos I really wanted to. So hope you guys are enjoying what I'm trying to do here, guys. I said guys too many times. I meant gals also. All right, let's see what happens tomorrow. All right, so we're back. This place here, I've got a foothold over there. I got a caster mound over here. I, can, I, don't, I guess I can't say I see anything floating here, but I can see that my trap is sprung or something anyway. I did stake my trap out there a ways, so it's very possible that whatever is in the, is that, is, some, is that something dark under the water right there? Yep. Hey. All right. That's awesome. This cast your mound produced finally. Right on. Right on, boys. Huh. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, that was kind of a miracle, set, to be honest with you, because I had this trap in here last year and I didn't catch anything. So, and if you guys seen how I set that thing, you'd be surprised that I caught one too. I anchored it out here. Whew. Big beaver too. Perfect catch on them, right behind the front shoulders here, coming into this set. That's what I like to see. Farmer's gonna, farmer's gonna be super happy, so. But let's see here, how did I get this guy? Yeah, well, pff, never mind. Yeah, I got him, I got him coming in. So, so he didn't get around the set at all, but. There's one, I don't know, that might be a blanket extra large blanket for sure you guys on this set maybe i haven't checked the uh, foothold yet so i'm kind of hopeful that maybe we got a double or something that'd be pretty sweet i don't think there's a lot of beaver in this pond either because that lodger will just kind of got some grass on it slightly mudded up but Shablam. All right, well, I don't think you guys need to see me reset this trap. We did get this one, so I'll go over and check the foothold quick. Okay. Trap number one, beaver. First day I checked this, neither of them had any activity, so. I don't know what is going on today, except where you got all that snow. Snow makes I want to get my hand caught in this trap. Oh, 
trap is, huh, this trap is gone, or it's sprung anyway, so I guess uh, we're hoping for a double here. Hoping for a double. Ooh, it's right. Okay. Well. Okay. And some beaver? Yep. Definitely. Definitely beaver. Definitely beavery. There it is. Back foot catch. Solid back foot catch, might I add. On this no BS beaver screen. Oh. Okay, get this log out of the way. Get this out of the way. There you guys go, see that? Another two-year-old. You guys, this this really might be the only other beaver in here, but a deep back foot catch on that trap. That beaver was going nowhere fast. Oh. Oh, these traps are strong. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right, you guys, here we go. Beaver number two in that trap. Got to remember in here, I didn't, you know, I didn't do anything crazy. I just literally slap some mud up on the sh up here where the beaver have been kind of coming up to eat and stuff and it worked out quite well we're gonna put this trap back in here and we'll come back and see if we got anything but i don't think we're i don't know could be wrong we'll find out yo so check that place a few times um, my second check, we caught two big beaver out of there, or two-year-olds, I'd say. And I've checked it two times since without any more beaver. So that's going to be that. Got a bunch of beaver here going to the buyer. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a very short spring season, you guys. I'm not going to lie. It's been good, but it's, it's uh, what is today, the 29th? 28th or 29th of April. Normally I would be back to work by now and all the ice would be gone. I'd be shooting fishing videos. Um, trapping would have been a thing of the past two weeks ago. And here we are, like just, if I didn't have to go back to work, I'd just be getting going here. So anyway, short video, sweet video. There's been a couple of them of them this year where I just hammer them on that, uh, you know, on, on, on one check. So, you know, hope you guys, enjoyed my spring trapping series there might be one more video coming out here um i'm thinking so anyway thanks for watching trapping videos i might do some nuisance stuff in the summer we'll see but if not we'll see in the fall